I need to assemble a couple of PCBs and some of the parts are in these envelopes. But I don't think this one is one of the parts because it says expansion board module and oh a Raspberry Pi Pico it looks like. Yes. The Pi Pico uses an RP2040 dual core ARM Cortex M0, which can go up to 133 MHz, has 264K RAM, 2 MHz flash, and 26 GPIO. I haven't tried using this yet. For a while, these were not even really in stock anywhere that I could get, so I finally decided to get one. And I've never used MicroPython, so maybe I can try to blink an LED with a simple starter project as soon as I get a chance to try this out. This one has a description using characters I can't read. So I will have to figure it out empirically. Oh, a TFT display. 240 by 240, 1.3 inch. I thought this display might be interesting to use instead of those regular tiny OLEDs. It uses the ST7789 driver chip, so I'll have to figure out how to use that with Arduino. But in the meantime, I can keep this aside, try to figure it out when I get some spare time. This one has a description I recognize. It's a CH340C. Well, it was supposed to be a 340C, but they gave me the G. I wanted the C because it does not need an external crystal, which is a lot more convenient and saves a lot of board space. So I'm going to have to steal one off of another board. But otherwise, I wanted this because it's got all the flow control pins. It's not just TXRX. So there's certain things that I will need a full UART serial port for. Here's an old butchered board that has a 340C. Hopefully this package goes better. It's supposed to be L293D motor driver chips. Looks like it. L293DD. All right, at least I can work on one project. These are quad half H drivers and they can run relay solenoids, DC or stepper motors. They're often used to run these little hobby type DC motors for little robot vehicles and stuff like that. I'm going to try using it to run this DC motor on this motorized slider pot. So hopefully these work and I can finally get this up and running. I bought these maybe four months ago now so it's about time I get these running. This one says electromagnet. I think I ordered this a very long time ago, possibly over a year ago. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And if they sent me the right one, it says it has a holding force of 50 newtons, 5 kilograms, or 11 pounds. DC 6 volts, 50 newtons. So, that must be it. So I just so happen to have a 6 volt bench power supply standing by and the power supply shows half an amp ah it's holding on to that so it'll have some uses so the big disappointment this time is getting the wrong part for these USB transceivers. I'll just have to take the one off of here and, well, I was hoping to have these to replace where I've been taking these. Like, I took this off of another module, probably a Node MCU kind of thing. So I wanted to replace them, and I don't know if I'm going to order again and take a chance again. I'll work on that. In the meantime, thanks Patreon and channel supporters, and thanks for watching.